Hooligans, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, gonna have a look over my loadout on the TPXL, and also I'm just gonna show you what I've got in the CP4 Special Ops cargo bag. I've done this loadout now. Um, it will obviously vary over time. I will change it up a bit, but I'm just giving you a quick show. I only had it a couple of days ago, so I'm just showing you what I'm filling up with at the moment. Um, and also, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and my existing subscribers. Hope you're all doing well, guys. Also, if you're watching this for the first time or the channel, if you could hit the subscribe button, that would be excellent. And it'll help the channel grow and it'll help me do more videos and better videos with better content. Cheers, guys. I will bring you in and we will have a little look. Okay, so first of all, we'll have a look at the TPXL. So... What I've done with the handle on this, you can either tuck it in the flap there. So what I'll do if I'm using the um, carry strap, I'll tuck the handle in there. Or you can tuck it into that little elasticated strap there. So on the sides, I've just got my Nipex scissors and some tape. Just got a 5.5mm drill bit because that's what we've been using. Um, marksman and a pika pen on this side i've got the m12 impact driver that fits on there perfect on the clip i've got my nipex knife and an extension for the impact driver clip them on there and he's nice and safe open up i haven't got nothing in the mesh pocket at the moment so that's just by there. I've got my little work surface. Pop my screw and nut catcher on there. Front of the bag, I've just got a module and some data clips, uh, RJ45s and a connector. Front of the bag, I've got my Weha strike cap screwdrivers. Got my little nips, side cutters, pliers, and I've just put in my engineer ones, which are the screw extractors, so I can get a real good grip on the screws if I'm uh, ripping them out with them teeth. Just chucked in some cable ties little screwdriver and then I've got the installation pliers as well in there um, I could obviously take out them and just leave the installation pliers in there but I thought I'd just chuck the pair of them in then I've got my ratcheting backhoe screwdriver it's really nice pop the button there you've got all your bits and then you've got your Tight and loosen, and you're fixed. Got a small level, and I've got a 10 and 13 Joker ratchet in there. And then I've laid out the backhoe 12 piece screwdriver set along here. Um, I was going to put my Nipex ones in here, but I thought I wanted to test these ones out. I'm going away for three days next week, so I'm going to be taking this bag and the special ops one and probably the drill bag with all my drills in. So I just wanted to get this one laid out um, as, as I would just use it normally. It's a fantastic bag, guys. You can, you can fit a lot in here. And obviously, with the offer now, where you um, get, when you buy a bag, you, you get your tier one and tier two bags free. So it's a TPLC on the tier one and the blackout TP4B on the tier twos. So obviously just a slight price difference, but you're still getting a nice bag either way you, you get it. And then they fit in there. Got nothing up in the Velcro at the moment. Uh, sorry, in the neoprene along the top. 
I've still got plenty of space um, where I can add bits as I'm working throughout the day. I didn't want to too, too much overload it, but there are things missing that I will be adding over time. And then just zip down, stick it down. And then in the back here, I've just chucked in one of the special ops part bags. Um, you could put any part bag in there. I believe you could fit a four in there, PB4. So there you go. Like I've got all my drill bits ready. I've got my socket set, I've got data. So I can just swap out whatever bag I need. I put this in the back ready. Um, what are we going there? Oh, I've just got a couple of odd screwdrivers in there and that's it. So tuck that in the back. And there you go. Real nice bag. Um, I have downsized some of the bags as well. I've got rid of the um, blackout pack backpack. Um, because I've put everything now into the XL. It's a fantastic bag, the XL, so I've gone with that. Keeping the Tech Pack MC uh, drill bag and the MB2 Blackout. Now, in this, I've just stuffed loads of data stuff in there because I'm going, like I say, I'm going away for a couple of days. So I've just chucked loads of data stuff. So I've got a tracer on the side, some pens, more RJ45s modules, cabinet key, crimper. I've got some fiber patch leads in there. And then in here, I've jammed quite a bit of stuff in. So I've got the fluke um, punch down tool. I've got the fluke micro scanner and the tracer. I've got a couple of Cat 6A patch leads. I've got my wearer handle. Some more fluke stuff. And then just in the side there, I've put an assortment of different blades in there. And then you can just see the space in there. Really, really usable space, guys. Um, I could put the labeler in there. At the moment, I've got the labeler in the MB2. When I come back from doing that job, I may as well just uh, swap out for the labour in this. So I'll just pack this back up now. It's really nice, plenty of space. You can get all your stuff in there. Um, and I pretty much packed this one out with quite a bit of kit as well. Chucking in there. Just reminds me of a really expensive wash bag with the added extra. Okay, pop them back in. There you go, guys. That is pretty much it. Just pop the tracer on the side. I'm good to go. So that is the. TP for Special Ops bag and the TP XL high vis. What I've done with the spare bag off here, I've just popped it into the tech pack. So in the tech pack now, I've just got one of those bags in there. So if I'm moving around and I'm taking different bits, I can just chuck in the parts bag. So this is stuffed with kit. Really nice, you've got your D-ring there and your loop if you want to put a carabiner on there. This is not too overloaded as I showed you. I've kept it quite minimal in there with just all the bits I require when I'm away. Um, it's only data and CCTV and putting in new UPSs on two of the sites. So 
that's all I'm going to require. Bit of an overkill probably, but it's better to have it than to need it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, I'm going to get some more kit to have a look at to show you on the channel. So if you please like and subscribe to the channel, much appreciated. And I hope you all have a great day.